Corey West down on the hot pit now going into a going to a backup motorcycle. They had it warming. They always warm the backup bike. They're generally idling along, and they rip them up and kind of keep them warmed and make them ready to go. In this case, Scott, it was required. Yeah, you'll see the 13 start from the edge of Pent Road right now, but here we go. Here we are. It's time to go racing an American Superbike, and it is Josh, it is Cam Bobier with a really good start on the initial start. Now they'll head down into turn number one. They fan out. You can see Roger Hayden look to the inside, but it's Martin Cardenas who's going to lead him into turn number one. It looked like Josh Hayes slotted into the second spot. Looked like Cameron got a jump off the line nice, but the bike wheelied up a little bit. And now down the inside, Hayes makes the move on Cardenas going into two. Josh Hayes doing what he does. He tried to retake that spot immediately and did so right now. But on the break, you've got the top three and then really the top five but the top three have really separated themselves just a little bit, but they're all there lined up waiting to do battle here. Martin Cardenas says, thank you. I will retake the point. He goes to the inside and makes a clean pass, but he's unable to hold it. Hayes goes to the inside. It's typical for that down into turn five to, to, to make the breaking move on a guy, but run it a little bit wide. And uh, right now this is exciting stuff for me because we're gonna see Josh Hayes and uh, go head to head with Cameron Bobby out here in a minute. Martin's right in the middle of the two. So this could uh, get really interesting here. Well, Hayes is up at the head of the class right now. Yet again, he's reassumed the point. Uh, certainly, Cam Bobier is uh, still definitely in the hunt back there in that three spot. But Martin Cardenas is not patient, uh, doesn't want to ride anywhere but in the number one spot. As they went out of camera view, he was trying him again, but he had to fall back in line. Now we'll see what happens. Josh Hayes puts his head down and goes to work. Martin Cardenas is there. Cam Bovier is there. Still well within striking distance is the Oceanair Suzuki factory rider number 95, Roger Hayden. I saw this a little bit last year in the DSB class with Cam Bovier. When he didn't get the start, he never panicked. There's big moves right there. Josh Hayes and 36 almost come together in Canada corner. Hayes won that battle, but Cam Bovier is not doesn't get excited. He just sits there, he's confident, he knows what he can do. He's got a great motorcycle, so he's going to sit on the 36 right there, try to make a move up the straightaway right here, make that an easy pass, and then go to work on the floor. So Scott Russell saying don't be deceived by what appears to be a patient number two. He is just doing what he does, laying back there waiting for the right chance, the right opportunity to come to the front. And we shall see how it all plays out here, but Martin Cardenas is trying on the inside at turn number one, and Josh Hayes slams the door, no question. This is good stuff because these guys haven't really raced run together all week, and I'm pretty sure so they've all kind of done it on their own. They've seen bits and pieces of Hayes throughout the weekend, but now the green flag comes out, it all gets real serious right now. It's, it's got, it looks like uh, Josh Hayes is giving him room on the bottom of the racetrack if he wants to take it, but I guess the preferred line is the one Josh is in. Yeah, you want to set up wide for these corners and get the good drive down the straightaway. There's Martin, uh, utilizes that drive, draft, and then out breaks Josh down in five. And can he hold it this time? He ran it wide last time. Covers the inside nicely as they go up the hill. Wow, and he did hold on to that spot as they went out of view. Hayes was fighting back though, but Martin Cardenas at the head of the class. There's the four of Josh Hayes now in the two spot. This is American Superbike racing at its finest. Classic stuff. Well, maybe eating some of those words. I didn't know if the Suzuki guys had anything for the Yamaha, but I'm glad that you're out there right now. And Hayden on that fourth spot right now behind Bobby. He's trying to get in touch with these guys. He's He sits about five bikes back right now, Barry, but he's working hard to stay with them. Yeah, I haven't counted him out yet. I don't think anybody has. It would be wise to. Roger Hayden is riding about as well at this point in his career as he ever has maybe better and so but martin cardenas is impressing me he is unafraid to go after uh, josh hayes josh won eight races last year he is a very strong uh, headstrong competitor martin cardenas has got no problem getting up there and racing with him right now he's doing a great job he, he ran defense as it went into the bend down there and he covered the inside didn't give the four of josh hayes any room to make a move he's kept it clean through canada corners they come out of the hole right now he switched to this fast right fast left, a little bit bumpy right here over the top, and then you set up for the long front straightaway. This is a really important corner right here for all these guys. So the draft day work for Cam Bobier this time. If Scott Russell's forecast comes to pass, this is where he thinks he may make the move in the draft. Bobier does go to the outside of Josh Hayes, tries to get a run on him, 
Might have started his draft move a little bit early. They're too wide as they go out of our view up front. And it is Martin Cardenas chasing Hayes, but in the process, Bovier's gonna take the two spot. That's right, it looked kind of strange the way he played it. He came out of the last corner, didn't really go for the draft, but now he's looking down the inside of his teammate. Mm, not gonna happen right there. Pulls in, that's gonna, that's gonna hurt his drive a little bit off, but he knows he's got a fast motorcycle, and he knows he's got Josh to pull him. And Josh knows he's got company in the form of his teammate, Cam Bovier. Bovier was uh, amazing in GoPro Daytona Sport Bike, and he's really beginning to get comfortable on this super bike. They're head to head uh, with Bobier trying the high side. Will it be a classic outside in move? I don't think so. Hayes able to hang on to the spot. This corner turn six right here is a real blind corner. As you pop up over the top of that, you got to know right where to put the bike so you don't miss that apex. These guys are really good at doing that. Super fun racetrack. There's a lot of undulations in this track and downhill they go. Hard breaking for turn eight right now. Everybody's staying the same. Roger made some time up on the break right there. Martin Cardenas has the fastest lap of the race, even though we're in the early going here. That may change, but 218.2 is uh, the fastest lap of the race, and that belongs to Martin Cardenas. Meanwhile, Roger Hayden uh, is back there in the fourth spot, I think closing ever so slightly uh, on Martin. Now the two Yamahas, the Monster Energy Grade Yamahas have asserted themselves and they've come to the front of this field to sort it out. This is a, a real key part of the race right here where the two Yamahas get together. Two Suzuki's are behind. Martin, you can see the gap already starting to grow a little bit between the two and the 36. So Martin's really gonna have to dig deep right now if he wants to stay with these Yamaha riders. The riders may not agree. They may know of something that they've done wrong, but I haven't seen anybody put a wheel wrong yet up at the head of this class. Looking strong, they're going side by side here at the top of the hill. It's still Hayes at the point. Will he try a late draft move on the inside? That's where he's looking. Bobier will fall back in line, but he showed his partner, uh, his teammate, a wheel. He did. He looks really quick to the, to the middle of the corner. That's Bobier. I'm talking about on the two. He's able to roll up on Josh on the outside of him in the middle of the corner and carry a lot of speed. He wasn't pushing the issue right there. Hayes was on the outside when they broke for turn one, and Cameron said they're just going to sit back in here now. It looks like he's making his move. Hope you're enjoying our live flag-to-flag -flag coverage of every single on-track activity today from here at Road America as Josh Hayes leads his teammate Cam Bobier. They're working three of 13 right now. Martin Cardenas for the Yoshimura Suzuki factory team in the three spot. Number 95, Roger Hayden running fourth. A great weekend thus far for Aussie Dave Anthony, number 25. He's up there in the fifth spot. Chris Clark, six. Chris Fillmore shown in the seventh spot for number 11 on the KTM. That's how they're running right now as uh, there are 10 laps remaining here, three of 13 currently being worked as they pass under the Johnsonville Bridge. You're gonna see Josh Hayes right here ride as hard as he can right now because he knows the two has had the pace this weekend on him a little bit, not much, just a little bit, but doesn't take much. So he's gonna really be pushing into the braking zone in every corner just to try to keep the two off. But in turn, he may kind of kill his drive on one of these straightaways and let that two jump on him. But that's allowed these two guys going at it, allow Martin to sneak back up on the rear wheel. Yeah, you're and right. they're dropping Roger just a little bit off the back. Yeah, Martin's right back up in the thick of this podium battle that we've got going on up front. It's not unlike Cambobier to slip back there and be, be kind of calm for a couple of laps and then try to survive, surprise the rider in front of him. We've seen him do that a number of times. Yeah, he's just hunting right now. He's, he looks, he can see where he, he's quicker. Um, this is where I saw him last time. He rolls right up on the haze through the middle of the corner right there. Right on his rear wheel, no problem. So now, will this be the lap that he makes his move and tries to get away? Well, he started his move a little bit earlier. He's drawing up alongside him, trying to get a little side draft on him here. Headed down into turn number one. I think he switched lanes. He went from outside to inside, but under late braking, Josh Hayes is able to hang on to that spot. Two, when they go side by side, that allows the 36 of Martin to get a two bike drive. Now he's down the inside. There it is, that's the move right there. Cam was just setting that up. Oh, he did a nice job right there. Very turn in early, but didn't run it wide on the exit. He's inside for Josh to do the over under move on him. 
well, well called by Scott Russell, well executed by Cam Bobier. But can he hang on? That's the question as Josh Hayes wants the spot back. The two Yamaha riders faring to faring. Handlebar to handlebar. That's what Josh is going to have to do to beat this kid. Every time he passes, you've got to punch him right back. And that's what Josh did down on the inside. Martin almost took advantage of that too. Pushed the two a little bit wide, but he's able to hold on that second spot. And Josh now, he's got a couple of bikes as they go down and turn at it. Martin definitely in the hunt here. He is stalking Cambovier for that two spot. Martin's had a good race thus far. He jumped out really early. He got a great start. And, and he's ridden well all race long. We'll see if he can do anything with the uh, two machine of Cambovier. Let's throw it down to uh, our hot pit lane to Danielle Teal. That's right, tough break for the number 72, Larry Pegram. Larry, can you give us an idea of what happened? Yeah, I, I, uh, I got too good a start. Uh, you know, I burned the clutch up on the start and uh, just, you know, basically my fault. I rode the clutch a little too hard and I knew on the, out of the first lap, I knew it was done, but I tried to milk it a little bit, but after about three laps, it wouldn't even go. So, you know, we just got to put a new clutch in, come back tomorrow. Barry. Thank you, Danielle. That's a, you know, on a super bike, um, if there's a weak link on that motorcycle, that much horsepower will find it. And obviously the clutch was the weak link today for Larry Pegram out of it here today at Road America. Meanwhile, back up front, our battle rages on here down the front stretch as Josh Hayes leads Bobier, but not by enough of a margin to brag about. It's Bobier on the inside. Can he hold the spot? And he does. Beautiful inside pass. I mean, he's smart, you know, for a kid this young. He's got real race savvy. He's got some good moves about him. I mean, he's a thinker. You know, you can see him playing that, and, and he pushed Josh out a bit. Well, well, I'm looking at this thing, and I see how easy he made that look. And then he put about six bike links on him. And Cardenas is right there. You think that um, Josh's bike is okay? Oh, yeah, he's fine. What happened was... You know, Josh figured he was going to outbreak him again on the outside in turn one. And Cam surprised him on the inside with that move, and it pushed him a little bit wide, and he couldn't get back to the throttle like he wanted to. Not a big deal, but it made the gap is what you see right now. And Cam's going to put his head down right now. You can see some of the flaps of the race, and this is where Josh is going to have to dig deep. And this is where Martin could fall off the back of this group. Interesting observation we'll find out shortly. Martin Cardenas has been right here in that spot since um, early on. We are beginning to lose uh, Roger Hayden from our camera view as he is uh, continuing to slip back here, back about 1.7, I believe. So Roger Hayden beginning to drift away. It looks like it could very well come down to these three riders to decide podium. And right now, Cam Bobier apparently wants it uh, really bad because he's come to the front. He's riding brilliantly here. Josh Hayes kind of cool on it for a moment, but you know he's going to try to run him down. Yeah, I mean, for Josh, you know, he's been in his mode for uh, the way he rides the motorcycle for years now. Now with a new kid coming in there throwing a different twist at him, he's going to have to try to adapt a little bit, try to find new ways of, of going faster, you know, and whatever that, whatever that means. And now this is where he learns. He sees where the kid's faster than he is. I don't think I've seen them run together all weekend, but now he'll really get a good look at the two and go, hmm, well, what have I got to do? Without question, there's no questioning Josh Hayes and his track record in American Superbike in recent years. I think he won like 12 in a row. Um, he, he set poles at every round. He's kind of won all that, done all that you could do in American Superbike. But right now he is definitely being challenged by his teammate at the Monster Energy Grave Yamaha side of things in the form of Cam Bobier, number two. You know, looking at the two different different ride styles, it looks to me like Cam's so good on the brakes, tipping it into the corner, but able to carry that same speed, that entry speed, through the middle and still get a great drive off. So Josh, you know, it looks like Cameron to me using his body off a little bit more as they get into that braking zone and starts initiating the corner. And Josh still has more of that upright body style, and that doesn't allow the bike to turn in quite as easy. That is exactly what you told us at the start of this day, that this is a place that rewards a guy that can get into a corner well, 
roll through the center of it well and get off well. And what you just described is what Cambobia is doing. And he's at the head of the class. And Josh is doing a great job right now and staying in touch and trying to find a way to get to it. So um, Cam, and, and Cam's just doing his own thing out front right now. He's just racing the racetrack. He's really not going to worry about what's behind him. He knows he can go fast and he knows he's consistent at doing it. So no mistakes from the two. And here's what he'll try to do right here in the 36 is just kind of sitting, hoping that something kind of comes back his way. Roseville, California is where Cambobier gets his mail. And uh, here he is up in uh, Wisconsin, just showing what he's made out of here. He's shown us many times before in GoPro Daytona Sport Bike. Uh, this could be a sign of uh, some of the things we've got going on uh, this season and beyond because he looks very comfortable on his uh, big bore Yamaha here, the R1. Really taken to it mean, so well. Um, obviously, that Yamaha is uh, has kind of ruled this series here for the last few years. So, if you want to make a move to Superbike, he was in the right spot and in the right team, and in the most of it right now here at Road America, really putting the hammer down right now. Quickest lap by that last time by to 12.9. So what do you think, Scott? Um, he's beginning to stretch it out just a little bit on Josh Hayes. Uh, can he continue that? Yeah, the only, there was only a tenth in it last lap, uh, 212.9 to a 213.0, and then Martina 213.1. So everybody's still running strong right now, but as this race starts to go away, you know, those little tents, a couple of tents here, a couple of tents there, that lead could start to go, but the four is really fighting hard to find a way to stay with the two. And now we go down trackside for a quick report from the Hot Pit Lane and Danielle Teal. Chief Elite Sports, Crew Chief to Chris Fillmore. Why did Chris have to come in and start from Pit Lane? We had problems with our quick shifter and we tried to change the mapping. I don't know if it worked. Um, we'll see, I guess. So far everything works and we're happy about that. It looks good so far and keep on pushing. Now you guys had some seat time between rounds. Has it helped you here at Road America? It definitely did. Um, we raced in Miller, we raced in Sonoma, and also in Fontana. It worked really well there. We knew ahead this is not going to be a track for us, and we tried to to ride these tracks. And actually, we know our um, well, our series starts from the next race on. Barry. Thank you, Danielle. Thank you so much. Yeah, the KTM guys, they're, they're as Scott Russell said earlier, they are definitely looking forward to getting back to Barber, uh, a place where they have a better shot with the handling and the power characteristics of that uh, KTM RC8R. Man, what a race we've got going on here uh, up front at the head of the class. This is good stuff. I love seeing the old guy having to dig deep. Josh, you know, he's pushing 40 right now, and Cam just 21 years old, so. This is a big deal for him right now, and look at the gap now between that, uh, between that, the third place position. So we look at the head of the class, Cam, Cam Bobier, and right now Josh Hayes has caught and passed Bobier. Can he hang on? Bobier will go to the inside. Hayes fights back on the outside. Josh Hayes has put himself back in the race lead. If he can hang on back to the stripe, and Cam Bobier perhaps looked a little surprised by that. Maybe he had been lulled into a false sense of uh, security by lap after lap of no challenges. And like a surgeon, Josh Hayes put that R1 below him and boom, it was over just like that. And now Cam goes wide. That's been a difficult spot for him. He nearly ran off the racetrack, Scott. Well, I mean, it's easy to do when you're bailing on that straightaway at nearly 190 miles an hour and you go to the brake. If you overslip that brake marker just a little bit, that's what happened. And you know as well as I do that uh, you cannot give Josh Hayes that kind of room up front. He'll check out and he'll be gone. Any cars, it, attention in turn six. Any vehicles parked in turn six, driver's right, please move your vehicles. This is the Sheriff's Department. They've called the tower. They are serious about this. We've got a problem over there. So anyone parked in turn six, driver's right, please remove your vehicles immediately. To all, we apologize for having to do that. And we're back at you here live 
working lap eight of 13 at Road America with Cam Bobier. Uh, under uh, was under some serious challenge. Now he's in the two spot. Yeah, well, you know, by, by Josh really pushing hard and keeping the pressure on the two, that and pushed him into a mistake up there. But if Josh would have kind of laid out and let him go, but Josh was digging deep, trying to find a new way to go faster, and he's done it. And he kept the heat on him. Look at him now. He's got a nice little gap right here. There's still a lot of racing left, so Cam is possibly reeling back to him. It's going to be a tall order. I got a tweet from a uh, NASCAR fan who said, what kind of communication do you have with these riders? Well, the answer to that is we have no radio comm between the teams and the riders. They have it. They do it old school style here on the front stretch here at Road America. There's probably another spot somewhere around here. They've got an old fashioned pit board. It lets them know the position they're in. It lets them know uh, a lot of things, Scott. They, they can actually give you a lot of information on a pit board. Yeah, I mean, that's how we live our lives in a road racing world. We don't have that communication, so you can read that board and kind of let you know what kind of gap you got and uh, what lap you're on, that kind of thing. Sometimes when uh, we our pit road reporters walk up to a crew chief and say, what's going on with the bike? He's got a guess because he doesn't have any way of conversing with the man twisting the grip on these motorcycles. Josh Hayes owns the fast lap of the race right now, 212, 473, 212, 473. Josh Hayes with the fastest lap of this race. As you said, the old guy had to dig and he's rocking and rolling. He's finding a way, I love it. You know, he's done a great job. Cam's got his work cut out for him. It looks like he might be closing just a little bit, but it's hard to tell. Right now, Josh just needs to keep doing what he's doing right now, tucking in them two 12 lap times, and that's all he can do. And that is, in fact, what he's doing. He's consistently turning in good, solid uh, two 12s, and, and he's right up in the thick of this hunt. Matter of fact, he's got them covered right now. Let's take a moment uh, as we get down to uh, the final stages of this one, and let's take a look at a little deeper in our field. We've got number four, Josh Hayes, on the Monster Energy Grave Yamaha machine leading and turning consistently fast laps. We've got Cam Bobier running in the two spot. Martin Cardenas running third. Roger Hayden running in the four spot wearing number 95. Running fifth, number 25, that's Aussie Dave Anthony. Running in the sixth spot is number six, Chris Clark. Chris Fillmore, we heard from his uh, crew chief. Number 11 had a uh, shifter change. He's running seventh. Apparently, it's all working well. In the eighth spot, number 86, Jason Farrell. Running ninth, Chris Ulrich. And in the tenth spot, Corey West. That's your top 10 as they're working lap 10 of 13. We have three laps remaining in American Superbike race number one. And it looks to me as if this one is now Josh Hayes' to give away. Yeah, it looks like he's, he's doing a great job with three to go right now. It's going to be tough for Cam to close that gap. But uh, Cam is a pretty special rider right now. The last lap by um, is a 212. Yeah, it's not updated yet, so it looks like the gap is strong. It does, as a matter of fact. Bobier is still definitely working hard here at the end of this race. Late breaking. It's so strong. easy to hear that guy behind him. That break just a little bit longer, you know, and you can see yourself gaining on him. But it's a double edged sword, you know, coming off a high speed straight away. Okay, he's already made one mistake, he was able to keep it together. So he's got to be careful not to try to do too much on the break. But he's throwing everything he's got at it, trying to get back what he made that mistake he made. So Martin Cardenas running in the three spot, a distant third right now. He's back there watching uh, if when he can see this battle up front, but really. Josh Hayes had to really step up his game and rise to the occasion here. After Cam Bobier took the spot away, Hayes stalked him for a number of laps, laid back there and didn't mount a challenge at all, and struck when the iron was hot at the appropriate time and just went by like a surgeon to the head of the class. It looks to me as if Bobier's riding extra hard right now, pressing extra hard and trying to close this gap a little bit here in the final three laps coming he's coming quick this is another hard breaking zone into canada corner down in the bottom of the lower end of the racetrack they'll start climbing up right now these two yamahas are really the class of the field out here this weekend at elkhart lake and have been for some time now into this last corner 
Really important corner. You want to get the bike out wide as you can and get that good drive up that straightaway, Barry. This is age and experience in the race lead, youthful enthusiasm in the two spot, and I'm telling you, Bobier's coming. He is so fast through turn 14. It's pretty amazing. I tell you, it's visibly a difference in speed through there, and look at the gap has shrunk so big in one lap. And now this draft is going to help him here, and he's been the master of late, late breaking, and again, he does. He closes it up to within about five or six uh, R1 links here as Josh Hayes continues to lead, but I know Josh can hear that low thump, thrum of that R1 behind him right now coming up out of those corners. He's about to see him, I'm thinking now, because he can hear it, but he's about to see it because Cam's right there. And I don't know, Cam might be decided to step back now if he's caught him that quickly and just kind of like, hey, maybe I should wait until the last lap to make my move. You know, that wouldn't be a bad idea. That's, that's really how Josh got around him. He was patient and waited for the perfect opportunity and took it. Maybe Cam will follow the lead and maybe Cam will just try to get out front and run away with it. But obviously these two, again, the, the, the age and the experience, the total number of laps on a superbike that Josh Hayes had, uh, maybe paid dividends for him to get him to the front today. And Cam Bobier's drive, his youth, his enthusiasm and his natural and, and raw talent has propelled him back up into a spot to potentially challenge Josh for a race win as we are closing down to the closing moments. This is a 13 lap American Superbike. They're working lap 11. Well, that last lap by was uh, no surprise. The fastest lap of the race from Cam Bobby at a 2.12.2. That's a couple of tenths quicker than Josh. And that was almost one second faster in that one lap than Josh Hayes cut. And that's what you see right now. We apologize for a little bit of sound quality on Scott's mic. We've replaced that now. Hopefully we've got that handled for you. As Cam Bobier, he's no longer really chasing. He has caught number four, Josh Hayes. He's, uh, he's down to about two bike lengths. I call him there. Yeah, I think he's there. And this is his corner right here coming up, turn 14. So I see him roll right up on the rear wheel of it. I mean, just right there now. This is where he made the move earlier. As he went down the straightaway, he made the move into turn one, pushed Josh a little bit wide earlier, and that gave him that little bit of a gap that he lost when he went into turn five. So can he do it again? He's all tucked in like a little missile on that R1 behind him. He, he takes the draft move. He goes to the inside, and he's got the position. If he can hang on under late breaking, hey, he does hang on to the spot. The final lap is underway. The white flag's in the air. And these two Monster Energy Graves Yamaha pilots, it's all on the line for them. As you said, the goal is to beat your teammate no matter what. So this is going to be good here at the end, already is. Well, this is where we're coming to a great passing opportunity for Josh. If he can get a good run right here on camp, he'll dive down to the inside right here and have to leave it really light. But he decided not to do that. Decides to set up right. Maybe he's got another plan in mind. There's plenty of racetrack left, Barry. We'll see where he's going to make his move. And Cam was reading it, reading him too, because you know he kind of moved to the left-hand side of that lane and had that spot pretty much blocked. He took the line away from him, really, just a little bit. Now Hayes is continuing to follow him, not in his wheel track exactly, but he is stalking him, and stalking him here in the very closing moments of this one. Cam pushing at maximum, breaking right there down into turn eight not giving Josh any opportunity on the brakes to make a move. Josh has closed up a little bit as they go through the carousel right now. Cameron swoops out wide. He'll bring that thing back down. He'll touch that corner, that curb on the inside, that final apex, and he'll try to cover the inside as they break right here for this corner a little bit. Josh Hayes won the opening round in American Superbike down at the World Center of Racing in Daytona. Cam Bobier won the second race down at Daytona. They bring that battle here. They're going to try to settle it one way or the other. When they get to the stripe, it'll be checkered flags in race number one here in American Superbike. Who is it going to be? It certainly is Cam Bobier right now up front, but you get the feeling Josh Hayes has got a plan. We shall see. He's trying hard. I don't know that there's anything left. I think a mistake by Cam's the only way it's going to work right now, but anything's possible into that last corner where he is so strong, the number two. Here we go. Final time through the final corner. They'll make that right-hand corner. They'll head up the hill. Josh is really not as close as he would like to be to make any kind of move on him. As he tops the hill and comes to the checkered flag, Cam Bobier wins American Superbike race number one here this weekend. He'll be followed across the stripe by number four, Josh Hayes. Martin Cardenas, number 33, doing it for the Yoshimura Suzuki factory team, will make his way to the stripe to finish in the three spot.
boy, what a gap that became between that Suzuki and that Yamaha. How close he started and how far they ended up pulling away from him. Pretty amazing. Josh waving to the crowd, but man, you can almost see the, the dejection here. Uh, he had his head down for a moment. Now he wheelies a little bit here. Good one. And, and uh, saying uh, hello to the fans all around this beautiful, picturesque facility as uh, Cam Bobier will enjoy the spoils of victory and he's going to put his teammate in a two spot here on the box. That's of interest. What a great champion Josh Hayes is. He, is, he really truly has been a great uh, champion for this sport, still is. He speaks well to fans, he speaks well to media. He's become quite the superstar, really. You know, he's got to be happy with the way he rode, you know, to know that that young lion's in here and he's hungry and he's going to be hard to beat. But Josh rode a great race right there. He did everything he could do. Cam was just a little bit better on this day, but he's happy with his performance, as you can tell. And uh, he'll go back and try to figure out some way to come out here tomorrow and, and do something a little bit different. There's the fans up on the hillside getting a good look at Josh as he waves back at him providing the wheelies every opportunity that he can and saying hello to them. Here comes your race winner right there. Number two, Cam Bobier, the young gun from Roseville, California. Arrived on the scene here and certainly is not intimidated by the experience and the victories that Josh Hayes has amassed in Superbike. In fact, it looks he's willingly accepted the challenge. There's number 36, Martin Cardenas. He uh, finished in the three spot here this afternoon as he and Bobby A exchanged pleasantries. And Martin Cardenas will be on the box here this afternoon for the Yoshimura Suzuki factory team. Let's take a little a rundown on your field. It's Cam Bobier at the top of the order, who will be atop the box. Josh Hayes will uh, be up there as well in the two spot. Martin Cardenas will be third. Roger Hayden fourth. Aussie Dave Anthony will uh, end uh, his day excellent, really, with a top five finish. Chris Clark six. Chris Fillmore uh, finished in the seventh spot. Chris Ulrich eighth. Corey West ninth. Jason Farrell tenth. Uh, Frank Babuska, I believe that is in the 11th spot, Trent Gibson 12th. So that is how our race number one for American Superbike is to uh, draw to a close. Remind you that uh, tomorrow we're all going to be back here at Road America to do it again. And things will get underway early in the morning with uh, qualifying two. Uh, however, this uh, day has not yet come to a close. We have Victory Podium and some other stuff going on with Vance and Hines. Harley Davidson qualifying one to follow our victory podium. Scott Russell, what a, what a race, what a show. Yeah, it was a great show. I mean, it looked like it was going to be a three-bike race there for a minute, but I, I kind of have, about have had a feeling that the Yamahas would get away in the end and exactly what they did. And But, God, what a, what a great run by Cam to make a mistake like that and be able to reel that kind of gap back in. It just shows how hungry and how fast he really is. Here's our top three finishers making an appearance here. They'll make that hard left-hand turn and find their way to Victory Podium. Where we'll, be, uh, we'll be joining them down there to celebrate with them. And get some up to the minute uh, live interviews from the scene as well. Certainly do hope that you are enjoying the show today here um, live and on fanschoice.tv from Road America. We are enjoying bringing it to you. Tom Seymour and the folks at Saddleman Seats, Saddlebags and Luggage, they've been with us for a long time. We want to extend our thank you to uh, Saddleman Seats, Saddlebags and Luggage, our Rookie of the Year uh, sponsor here at AMA Pro, a great friend of the sport of flat track and a great friend of the sport of road racing as you see the Yamaha guys receiving their uh, motorcycles and uh, celebrating with their riders. They finished 1-2 here this afternoon. Any way you slice it, that is a win for the uh, Monster Energy Graves Yamaha team, no doubt. Okay, that's pretty cool. You got Josh Hayes and Cambobier in a little, little uh, embrace.
All right, let's go down to our victory podium for a, a quick, quick interview with Christy. Hello. Number two, Cameron Bobier, outstanding performance in today's race, duking it out with number four, Josh Hayes, your teammate. A lot to learn from him for sure, but you definitely showed him up in today's race. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Yeah, I mean, I just got to give it up to my Monster Energy Graves Yamaha crew, uh, giving me an amazing bike. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think uh, I think that was definitely the best race of my career so far. I mean, it's uh, it's so hard racing with this guy, Josh, and he's, uh, I mean, he's loaded with talent. And he was, I was getting so frustrated out there. He was just over bring me everywhere but uh um yeah i mean like i said got to give it up to my sponsors and uh and yeah I'll go get them tomorrow congratulations to our race winner today in superbike number two cameron bobier moving on to our second place finisher teammates with cameron bobier that's number four of josh josh you really battled with that with cam today tell us about it yeah the little turds fast but <laughs> i gave it my best go i actually thought i had the race under control until uh I bought a can at a corner, and that kind of ruined it for me, and then I tried to make it all up and do it in the last turn and was out of the seat again, and that kind of solidified it. And uh, But I felt pretty good about my ride, and uh, definitely gives me some hope and some uh, some ideas to work on for tomorrow. So looking forward to getting another shot at him tomorrow. Hopefully the weather holds out. It's such a beautiful day. Awesome to see all these fans standing all around the racetrack, guys. Thanks for coming out. There you have it, our second place finisher today, the number four of Josh Hayes. Congratulations to our top two finishers. Let's see if we can get an eye on our third place finisher this afternoon, the number 36 of Martin Cardenas. I think I have him in the line set here. Let's see if we can grab him for a quick interview right now. Martin, outstanding race out there. Definitely some changes in position, and you're battling out with your teammate, Roger Hayden, as well. Tell us about your race and your third place finish. Yeah, the race was good. Uh, I finished third. A little bit far off, but uh, yeah, the the middle, the beginning part of the race was very fun, uh, battling with uh, Josh and uh, Cameron a little bit. Uh, but then I uh, made a mistake, I uh, lost contact, and uh, was uh, trying to maintain because uh, the guy in the back was uh, a little bit far behind. So uh, there's nothing I could do to catch up these guys. So uh, I tried to maintain the position and uh, bring it home. There you have it, our third place finisher today in Superbike number 36, Martin Cardenas. We'll toss it back up to Barry and come back for podium in just a minute.